Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechEB and today we will review one new ROM for OnePlus 3 and 3T devices which is known as Bootlegger's ROM. So without wasting any time let's get started. This will be the first look of your ROM and first I'll show you the software information going to settings, system, about phone and here you can see Android version is 8.1 with security patch 5th March 2018 and the name of the ROM is Bootlegger's ROM. So guys, I've been using this room since few hours and not much of issues, slight touch issues what I have been facing. Maybe that's because of the tempered glass. I'm not sure, but I need to remove the tempered glass and see. So guys, in this video, I'll show you what are the customization options available. Along with that, I'll show you the benchmark results. And at the end of video, I'll also show you battery backup, which I got it on first cycle. So guys, this will be the first look of your room. Long pressing home screen will take you to the launcher setting where you have few options of lock desktop, double tap to lock and few physical animation options. Almost everything is working on this room. Quick setting panel is the same as we get it on different rooms. Power menu, same like Android 8.1. Camera works fine. There are lots of options in this camera. So you can go here and check it out. Now going to the settings and checking out the customization options here. So normally you get all the default options here in this settings. After that you have one option of bootleg which gives you all the options to customize your device. After that going to display. Here under display you get device theme, UI style where you have few extra options like Shishu Dream UI, Shishu Night UI. And after that you also have device theme in which where you get lots of extra options you have double tap to wake on the screen which is working fine let's take a look so you double tap the screen and device wakes up after that you also have few screen of gestures like you can enable them from here and after that you can customize these gestures from the given options you get one plus slider option where you can swap the recent buttons and you have few options to customize the notification slider OnePlus Doors gives you option of wake up screen when you receive notification, tilt sensor which includes pickup, proximity sensor which includes hand wave and pocket pulse. Under system you get one more option of gestures that is jump to camera. So when the screen is locked you just need to press the power key, your device will directly jump to camera. Now going to the main customization options what are available here. So going to bootlegs under which you have status bar, quick settings, hardware button customization, navigation bar. This feature is missing on many of the rooms, lock screen, power menu, recent app, notification, miscellaneous and few information about bootlegers. So going with the status bar here you get option to enable or disable 4G icon, roaming indicator, network traffic indicator can be enabled from here, status bar icons, you also get bootleg logo. As you can see here I have enabled this and you get few logos pre-installed on the room. Then you have few customizations related to clock and date, battery style, miscellaneous which includes custom carrier label. Going to quick settings here you have quick setting tiles, brightness slider which is working fine, brightness icon, quick pull down, smart pull down. Then comes up hardware buttons. Here you get option to swap keys when your device is rotated. After that you have volume key controls and you can also enable long pressing power key to enable torch. Fingerprint authentication and fingerprint unlock. This can be used after you reboot your device. Almost all the device will ask you for pin or pattern. But if you enable this, the device will automatically get unlocked using your fingerprint. Then we have some navigation bar customization. If you enable this, you can select the mode from here which includes smart and fling. Then you have smart bar customizations where you can customize the smart bar if you have selected smart bar. Then you get few options to adjust just the height and the width of the navigation bar. Moving on to the lock screen, here you have option to show media art, lock screen visualizer, lock screen battery info, lock screen shortcuts, under ambient display, you can choose media info on the display. After that you have visualizer on ambient display, these two things are new on this room. And you also have face auto unlock, double tap to sleep on the lock screen. Going to Recents app, here you have Recents layout which can be changed to Grid or Android Go. Then you get option to show clear all button, memory bar, 
you can also hide applications and icon pack if you have installed any moving on to notification which gives you option of battery light battery light do not disturb mode blinking light on low battery you also have head up notification under miscellaneous you get option launch application when you connect the headset it means the device will automatically launch music application whenever you connect the headset transfer file instead of charging so you can directly enable this so whenever you connect your data cable instead of charging your device it will directly enable media transfer and at last you have few options of in call vibration so these are the customization options available on this room now talking about the benchmark results so i have used geekbench application and antutu bench application so going with geekbench application first under this results were single core code 1695 wherein multi core code 3786 pretty low scores as it's a new room hope we get further improvements on benchmark results talking about antutu bench application here under this also results are pretty low that is 156637 so now talking about the battery backup so now talking about the battery backup which i got it on this room on first cycle i got 5 hours and 1 minute wherein still 16% of battery remaining the battery backup is pretty good on this room and slightly touch issues i'm not sure whether they are touch issues or that's because of the screen guard which i'm using so i'll remove that so i won't be commenting on the touch screen issues you guys can try this room very much stable pretty good to use few extra customization options so guys as of now only this much in this video if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day